जन प्रिय प्रिय कर रहो निर्मा सर पूजी सौ नाना शास्त्र विचार नहीं And now chapter 27 Symptoms of ecstatic love Lokanam hitakarnam tribhuvane mannam saranyakaram The bodily symptoms manifested by a devotee in expressing ecstatic love for Krishna are called anubhava Practical examples of anubhava are as follows: dancing, rolling on the ground, singing very loudly, stretching the body, crying loudly, yawning, breathing very heavily, neglecting the presence of others, drooling, laughing like a madman, wheeling the head and belching. When there is an extraordinary excess of ecstatic love, With all of these bodily symptoms manifested, one feels relieved transcendently. These symptoms are divided into two parts. One is called shita, and the other is called kshepana. When there is yawning, the symptoms are called shita, and when there is dancing, they are called kshepana. Dancing. While watching the ras dance performed by Lord Krishna and the gopis, Lord Shiva beheld the beautiful face of Krishna and immediately began to dance and beat upon his small dindama drum. While Lord Shiva was dancing in ecstasy, his eldest son Ganesha joined him. Rolling on the ground. In the 3rd canto, 1st chapter, verse 32 of Shrimad Bhagavatam, Vidura inquires from Uddhava, quote, "My dear friend, is Akura in an auspicious condition? Not only is he a learned scholar and sinless, but he is also a devotee of Lord Krishna. He has such ecstatic love for Krishna that I have seen him rolling upon Krishna's footprints in the dust as if bereft of all sense." Unquote. Similarly, one gopi gave a message to Krishna that Radharani, because of her separation from him and because of her enchantment with the aroma of his flower garlands, was rolling on the ground, thereby bruising her soft body. singing loudly one gopi informed krishna that when shrimati radharani was singing about his glories she enchanted all of her friends in such a way that they became stone like and dull at the same time the nearby stones began to melt away in ecstatic love when narad muni was chanting the hari krishna mantra he chanted so loudly that it was apprehended that lord narsingha had appeared thus all the demons began to flee in different directions stretching the body it is said that sometimes when nodded the carrier of the veena remembers his lord krishna in great ecstasy he begins to stretch his body so vigorously that his sacred thread gives way crying loudly a gopi once said to krishna quote My dear son of Nanda Maharaj by the sound of your flute Shrimati Radharani has become full of lamentation and fear and thus with a faltering voice she is crying like a kurari bird unquote. It is described that by hearing the vibration of Krishna's flute Lord Shiva becomes very puzzled and begins to cry so loudly into space that the demons become vanquished and the devotees become overwhelmed with joy yawning it is said that when the full moon rises the lotus petals become expanded similarly when krishna used to appear before radharani her face which is compared to the lotus flower would expand by her yawning breathing heavily 
As far as breathing heavily is concerned, it is stated, quote, Lalita, one of the gopis, is just like a chataki bird, which only takes water falling directly from the rain cloud and not from any other source, unquote. In this statement, Krishna is compared to the dark cloud, and Lalita is compared to the chataki bird seeking only Krishna's company. The metaphor continues to say, quote, As a heavy wind sometimes disperses a mighty cloud, so the heavy breath from Lalita's nostrils caused her to miss Krishna, who had disappeared by the time she recovered herself. Unquote. Neglecting the Presence of Others as far as neglecting the presence of others is concerned, the wives of the Brahmins, who were performing sacrifices at Vrindavan, left home as soon as they heard that Krishna was nearby. They left their homes without caring for their learned husbands. The husbands began to discuss this among themselves. Quote, How wonderful is the attraction for Krishna that it has made these women leave us without any care. Unquote. This is the influence of Krishna. Anyone who becomes attracted to Krishna can be relieved from the bondage of birth and death, which can be compared to the locked-up homes that were neglected by the wives of the Brahmins. In the Padyavali, there is a statement by some devotees, quote, We shall not care for any outsiders. If they should deride us, we shall still not care for them we shall simply enjoy the transcendental mellow of chanting Hare Krishna, and thus we shall roll on the ground and dance ecstatically. In this way we shall eternally enjoy transcendental bliss." Unquote. As an example of the running down of saliva from the mouth, it is stated that sometimes when Narad Muni was chanting the Hare Krishna mantra, he remained stunned for a while, and saliva oozed from his mouth. Laughing like a madman When a devotee laughs very loudly like a madman, it is done out of an extraordinary agitation of ecstatic love within the heart. Such mad laughing is an expression of the condition of the heart, which is technically called atahasa. When a devotee becomes affected with this mental condition, his love is expressed through the lips. The laughing sounds, coming one after another, are compared to flowers falling from the creeper of devotion which grows within the heart of the devotee. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, devotional service to the Lord is also compared to a creeper which rises up to the lotus feet of Krishna in Goloka Vrindavan. Wheeling of the Head One gopi told her friend, quote, It appears that Lord Krishna, the enemy of the demon Aga, has released from his mouth a whirlwind which is acting on your head and is gradually proceeding to do the same to the other lotus-eyed gopis." Unquote. Belching Sometimes belching also becomes a symptom of ecstatic love for Krishna. There is evidence of this in Purnamasi's address to one crying associate of Radharani. Quote, My dear daughter, don't be worried because Srimati Radharani is belching. I am about to offer a remedial measure for this symptom. Do not cry so loudly. This belching is not due to indigestion. It is a sign of ecstatic love for Krishna. I shall arrange to cure this belching symptom immediately. Don't be worried." Unquote. This statement by Purnamasi is evidence that ecstatic love for Krishna is sometimes manifested through belching. Sometimes trembling of the whole body and hemorrhaging from some part of the body are also manifested in response to ecstatic love for Krishna. But such symptoms are very rare, 
and therefore Srila Rupa Goswami does not discuss any further on this point.